but it is also to educate. And I think today that we have all been educated about this remarkable man whose plaque we're about to unveil. And we will work very hard in our society to make sure that future generations will also learn of his distinguished career so that he will not be forgotten, especially here in the town of his birthplace. Thank you. General, do you have any other comments to make at this point? Voice of Chris Bird, <laughs> fighter. That's All right, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to bail the bronze plaque. And uh, please note the window display here that's uh, available for your perusal afterwards. And after we unveil the plaque, uh, we're going to have uh, Pastor Ice uh, give us the benediction. So are, are we ready? We're ready. All the photographers ready? <laughs> should, should we ask for a hand salute for this? No, I don't think so. Okay, General. There it is. Shall we pray? Our loving and precious Heavenly Father, we come in your presence this afternoon for this joyous dedication service. We think of this general that gave his life and we were reminded of the words of the Holy Scriptures that said a friend would lay down his life for his friends. And Father, as we come in your presence today, we invoke your blessings upon every person and every individual that has a part in this ceremony today. We pray that Father, through the veterans organizations, the freedoms that you've given us as Americans, that we'll never forget the sacrifices that give us our freedoms in America today. Bless our nation, bless our organizations, our veterans, and bless this ceremony and this time and those that speak today. In the name of our Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen.